today our topic is tense. What is tense? Tense is time. We can divide tense by three parts. There are three parts in tense. Those are present, past, and future. Each tense has four parts. If we explain present tense, then we will understand that every tense has a similarity. Like if we discuss about present tense, present tense has four parts. They are indefinite, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. Each part has a mechanism. Like there are different tense structure. I'm not talking about the sentence structures, but I'm talking about the tense structure. Tense structure is such a thing that is used in a sentence to complete its sense. Like in a statement sentence, there are subject, object, and there are tense. When these things combine, then we create a successful sentence. If we talk about indefinite, the part is, if we consider the verb is do, then do or does is the is the mechanism, is the structure of tense. Where continuous am is a plus doing. And for perfect have has plus done. And for perfect continuous have or has plus been plus doing. So these are the structures of sentence, sorry, tense. And in a sentence, we, if we normally write this, like I do, I am doing, I have done, I have been doing, then this kind of sentence is called a statement sentence, where if we drag the auxiliary part in front of subject, then it converts it into interrogative sentence like do I do? Am I doing? Has I done? Sorry, have I done? Have I been doing? So when I am taking the auxiliaries from the structures and place them in front of subject, then it converts it into a question. Also, if we place wh words in front of that auxiliary verb, then it changes, it, it changes into the wh question. When we normally take the auxiliary part in front of a subject, then it is a normal question, yes no question we call it. But if we place a wh word in front of auxiliary verb, wh word, then auxiliary verb, then subject, then other things, then it changes into wh question. So, this was the structure of present tense. But if we change it to past tense, then the structure there, you can see, very similar. In the place of do does, I will write did. In the place of am is are, I will write was where. In the place of have has, I will write had. In the place of have as, I will write had. And the whole structure converts to past tense. Now I did, I was doing, I had done, I had been doing, these are st statement sentences. But 
if we take the auxiliary part in front of subject then it changes it changes into question mark yes no question and if we take wh word in front of the auxiliary verb wh word auxiliary verb subject then other thing then it is into wh question now if we look at the future tense then the structure is everywhere we will place will 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 be everywhere will do will be doing will have done will have been doing so these are the basic structure of our tense in a subject that's it